Hey Tubeubers, TJ Pyramid here with another review. Uh, I've seen this movie reviewed by lots of people on here, uh, and of course all over the internet. But uh, I just figured I'd go ahead and do my review on it, give my take of it. You're next. The fantastic little Walmart stickers that sometimes you can't pull off, so luckily it's a slipcase. So yeah, you're next. Um, written by Simon Barrett. Uh, directed and such by Adam Wingard, basically tells the story of this family, uh, who, by the way, are all just a bunch of assholes. Oh, you know, a few minutes into this film, and you're already hoping to see this family get slaughtered because they're st they're just such. Let's just say it, they're all dicks. Uh, so something starts to happen to them. Uh, starts with a guy getting shot in the head with an arrow. And uh, that guy's actually uh, Ty West, the uh, writer, director, etc. of some really cool films. So after he gets shot in the head with the arrow, uh, the whole family starts going nuts. They start going ballistic. Uh, except for the one character right there, Sharni Vinson, who is uh, absolutely fabulous in this film. Uh, we can, you know, we can go ahead and forget that she was in things like uh, Step Up 3D and Blue Crush 2 and whatnot. She seems to be on a little horror role. Uh, really, she was in Bait, which was a really fun movie about a shark that gets loose inside of a grocery store. And uh, she's in the new uh, the remake of Patrick, which uh, I'm not really positive of yet if I want to see it or not or how good it's going to be, but I'm sure if she's in it, I'll check it out. Uh, so yeah, she basically goes into a commando survival mode. Uh, these guys are obviously like that. They're wearing like the fox masks, the uh, sheep masks, and whatnot. And uh, they're you know one by one trying to uh, basically just terminate this family's life. Um, it starts off with these guys basically killing the neighbors, uh, who are a good ways away. So you're thinking, well, these guys must be pretty nuts if they're killing. A neighbor that's like a mile away. They really don't want anybody to hear what's going on at this house. So yeah, she basically goes into commando survival mode trying to help everybody, uh, trying to make sure everybody lives. She knows what she's doing. Uh, it's revealed later in the film, no big spoiler or nothing, that uh, she was raised by a dad who was like this like super survivalist type, you know, uh, the kind of people that hoard for the end of the world type thing. So she was raised to a uh, basically be able to survive if, she, if if it ever came down to it. She could, you know, hold her own against whatever and whoever. So, yeah. Uh, there's a cool twist in this film that I really enjoyed. Uh, obviously, I won't tell you what that is, but I like that part. I also like the uh, tongue-in-cheek humor in this, you know. It does things to let you know that, hey, it's okay to laugh, you know, at some of the stuff in this film. I mean, there's a guy with an arrow in his back for like half the film, and he's always hitting it on stuff. And you, you just laugh. You know, it's funny. And the dialogue with, uh, actually the dialogue here between these two here. Uh, you know, there's, they just do some funny stuff in there. So, you know, there's, so there's a couple spots where, you know, it's okay to laugh. Even though people are getting their throats sliced and things like that. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah, really, once uh, the Sharni Vincent character uh, gets going... Uh, it almost becomes like a more evil version of like a Home Alone movie. Uh, you know, except uh, with, instead of, you know, paint cans tied to strings, whacking uh, Daniel Stern and Joe Pesci in the face, you have people with machetes getting their throats sliced, and people in big old combat boots stepping on nails that are like four to five inches. So yeah, it's really kind of a modern Home Alone. The only thing it's missing is a cameo by Macaulay Culkin looking in a mirror and going, Ah! So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I thought it was fun. I love the Sharni Vincent character. She was super cool. Just super badass girl in this. It's always fun to see to where the girl isn't the victim. She isn't the weakling and such. You know, that was uh, fun to see. I always liked that. But, uh, yeah, the music in this was absolutely cool. Some nice synth music throughout this film. A uh, very, very good score. I actually wouldn't mind owning this score, uh, this soundtrack. It would be nice to have the orchestral, orchestral version of the soundtrack. Um, just some fun stuff. So, yeah, 
that's my review of your next. Uh, I think it's a brilliant little film. Uh, I know a couple people haven't really liked it or whatever, but I can't really see why. I mean, I liked everything about this uh, pretty much. I'll definitely be watching it again. You get uh, two audio commentaries on here and a, a short little feature. I think it's like 12 minutes long, but it's a fun 12 minutes. Um, and also, hey, Barbara Crampton's in this from Beyond Reanimator. Uh, actually looking pretty young. I was surprised. Uh, but yeah, she was semi-retired up until, you know, she got the call from her agent saying, hey, somebody wants you to be in a horror film. So it was kind of cool to see her back on screen. So yeah, there we go. You're next. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I'm pretty sure most of you watching this have seen this by now. But uh, if you haven't, definitely, definitely check it out. There's some cool twists, some cool gore, um, some, some fun acting, some funny moments. And uh, yeah, just an all-around, I think, A-plus film. So there we go. Comment down below, subscribe, spread the word. Cheers. Thanks for watching.